All right, so we got more information on the animation for Seven Deadly Sins Season 6 or the Four Nights of Apocalypse anime that we thought we were going to get, but apparently it's not going to quite be that. Uh, with more information coming out earlier today, it is going to actually be two movies. Nice set for 2022 now this information does come from a, a bunch of sources on twitter but the one i was looking at would be boar's hat they are amazing for any seven deadly sins four nights of apocalypse re-related news super trusted source for sure for sure so definitely give them a follow if you have not already but according to the tweet they were saying that at the moment it's not clear that the anime project consists of a prior of two movies it seems that the seven deadly sins movie for 2022 which will serve as a link uh, with Four Nights of Apocalypse, the first movie would be named Seven Deadly Sins, Edinburgh's Grudge, and would have Tristan as the hero, and they are awaiting more details. So this would mean that if, if I had to assume the second movie probably would be a, like the Percival's transition, or maybe like the whole first bit for Percival potentially, or it could even be Lancelot's one shot that also would make a lot of sense as a movie actually, probably somewhere between those three. But the first movie being about Tristan, <laughs> is really nice because we've all been starving for some Tristan content. I mean, he's freaking Meliodas' son, so of course we all would love to know what he what was going on with him. And actually, the more I think about it, I really do think that the second movie is going to be the Lancelot one-shot. If you have not checked it out already, you probably should. I can put a link to it uh, in the uh, comment section, or not the comment section, in the description, so you guys can check it out. It's, I, I enjoyed it a lot. But it's interesting because with Tristan being the star of the first movie about Edinburgh, I'm not for sure how familiar you guys are with that name, but Edinburgh is actually somewhere that's like of moderate importance in uh, Seven Deadly Sins. Edinburgh was the place where the Seven Deadly Sins kind of like exterminated all of the vampires out of that area. It's also where the uh, Ten Commandments were uh, kind of, it's kind of where, where their impromptu base was uh, when they got into Britannia. And it's also where Gelda was sealed at the very, very bottom of there. And for the last part, it's also where Death Pierce went back to at the end of the series to make his own country where only humans were allowed. So it's very interesting that a movie that's going to take place with Tristan as the hero in Edinburgh. So definitely really excited for that. And like I said, the second movie, we don't really have too many details on it at the making of this video. However, it could more, it could possibly be stuff with Percival and his first part, but really, I really think it's going to be the Lancelot one shot with him and the Lady of the Lake and all that kind of stuff. We might even get more expanded upon it, just seeing as I'm not going to spoil it, obviously, but there definitely were questions at the end of the one shot that I would have loved to have answers to. So that's probably more than likely what they're going to be. Now, as for them being in 2022, this is really exciting because it's actually really smart. You smart. You very smart. Because we just had the last season of Seven Deadly Sins end this year as well as the Curse by Light movie. So then getting two movies next year keeps them more relevant. Like it kind of keeps it relevant. They're, they're kind of taking the, the Demon Slayer out where they're just going to put out a movie and then come out with like uh, the anime shortly after, which is, I think this is really smart on the marketing side. I really do. And then, and then this also gives Four Nights a lot more time to stack up chapters. It gives them a lot more time to get content going, to have that whole first season fleshed out, potentially that very next year. Because if they keep going at this pace, then the anime will be more than likely in 2023, as I was saying in my last video when I was talking about what the anime, or when the anime could potentially come out. Because it doesn't really deconfirm an anime at all. It just kind of adds more clarity. So I think if they're going to go this far, and do two movies then they're definitely going to do an anime too like i have no doubts in my mind that they're still going to do the anime now for the slight elephant in the room they will be distributed by netflix a little scary there on how netflix is going to handle it. hopefully netflix gets a quality studio to do them i do have confidence because uh the first two seven deadly sins movies were really dope and i believe they were handled by netflix especially curse by light the animation was really good actually no the animation for both of the movies were really good so i'm i'm really hoping that they don't drop the ball with these two seeing as they are very important because they're going to transition us into the new series so hopefully they get uh justice done but i have relatively high hopes for this i'm feeling i'm feeling pretty confident about it to be honest with you so let me know down below how excited you guys are about the tristan movie as well as do you think that the second movie is going to be a lancelot movie or do you think it's going to revolve around the main character 
of uh, you know Four Nights of Apocalypse Percival. I'm just kind of curious to know what you guys think, and also when and do you guys think we're going to get the actual anime? Do you think it's going to come at the end of 2022, or do you think we actually are going to get it in that 2023, or do you not think we're getting an anime at all? I'm just kind of I really would like to know you guys' thoughts on that because I mean you guys have heard mine, so I just kind of want to hear what you guys are thinking. But aside from that, you guys make sure you leave a like on the video as well as subscribe. I will keep bringing you the updates as I get them, so we can all be up to speed on what is going on with the Four Nights anime as well as keep i will keep redoing the reviews all the theories all that good stuff so make sure you stick around for all of that you guys know the rest of your day now i'll see you all in my next video